Another local school district is asking people to support a tax referendum on the upcoming primary ballot. And unlike Metamora Grade School, the superintendent in Tazewell County says this one does not raise taxes. Liz Lape tells us why Tremont school leaders are saying they need the money. Liz? Tremont Community Unit School District 702 is looking to put hundreds of thousands of dollars to work. That fund is 80% of the district's budget, and the superintendent says if passed, it'll help bring several programs back into the schools. In the last 20 years, our education fund has had a deficit 14 times, and some of those have been sizable deficits. Bonds for a 2007 Tremont High School renovation are finally being paid off in the next two years, meaning the current tax rate for Tremont residents will drop. That means the district won't be spending that money anymore. Superintendent Sean Barry says they have had serious financial problems over the last 14 to 20 years. But now is the right time for this request. We're asking um, in the referendum to increase the other part of the tax rate by 40 cents. So the overall rate is going to be less because we're, we're asking for less than, than what is coming off with those bonds. He says it could help generate over $700,000 a year for the district. He says those funds could bring back programs that were cut, like Shop and Home Ec at the high school, are at the middle and elementary schools. And because they are a tax cap county, they can use the money to fix up schools and for operations and maintenance and transportation. This could be the, what I would consider a turning point financially for the district and allow us to not only maintain what we have and not have to cut anything, but make what we have better, add to what we have, um, retain staff, attract new staff. Barry says he's worried that the ballot language might be confusing, and he just wants people to understand what this referendum means before they vote two weeks from Tuesday. Number one thing I want people to understand is, look, the taxes are going to drop regardless of whether the referendum passes or not. It will be generating 700000 or more dollars for the school district to use going forward to move the district forward. And I think, to me, that's a win-win. Right now, the tax rate in Tremont is 5.13%. If the referendum passes, the tax rate will be 4.93% next year. That means a property valued at $200,000 could see a decrease in school property taxes of almost $200.